It's a truly electrifying spectator sport. Japan's K1 World Max Championship has grabbed the attention of fight fans and top professional fighters from around the world. It's the ultimate kick fighting spectacle, fusing Western style boxing and Eastern martial arts like Muay Thai to determine the best of the best. The prize money is a draw card, but victory the greatest reward. The personal cost, unimaginable. With three Muay Thai World Championship wins behind him, Australian Wayne Pa is hungry to be the next K1 World Max champion. But the stakes are high. His opponents, the best in the world. To win the, the K1 Max is the ultimate. Before I retire, I'd really like to take the crown and, and, and be remembered as one of the greats. Wayne Pa lives in surface paradise, Queensland, with his wife Angie, a Muay Thai fighter, and their daughter Jasmine. Wayne's focus is K1 Max in Japan during 2005. But tonight, Wayne fights in his hometown at a promotional K1 event. Every time Wayne enters the ring, it is all about winning. Have fun. I get pretty nervous. I'm, I'm feel nauseous and I don't really feel too good when he fights. I just, because I know exactly what it's like. He can win, he can lose and it's just scary. This will be Wayne's 72nd professional fight. His ring name is John Wayne Parr and he wears a six-shooter as part of his outfit. <laughs> Wayne has been in training for the last six weeks. His opponent is Sakmo Khan one of Thailand's celebrated Muay Thai fighters. They will fight three, three-minute rounds. Judges award points. A draw will force extra rounds. But the ultimate is a knockout, creating an instant win. in the ring it's only you and your opponent um, there's nothing else to really think about besides what he's throwing at you it's how you handle all the pain even though you're inside you're just going oh my god you just got to keep going on and just pretending as soon as you show a little bit of emotion or, or wince in pain and the fight's over <laughs> In this sport, losing is an option. You have to win every fight. When you do lose, it's it's devastating. It takes it takes a, a lot of personal time, so, and you need your space. The 
next morning, Wayne is nursing his wounds. Last night's loss was hard to take. I got six, seven stitches from my headbutt in the second round. My forearm's rather bruised and swollen from, um, from the fights. My knuckles all be a little bit swollen just from um, punching the, the skull. Just a little bit of red marks, but that's all right. When you win, there's, there, there is no pain. When you win, it doesn't matter how beat up you are, the feeling that you get is it takes away everything. But um, And then when the adrenaline uh, drops down in the middle of the night? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's more, um, yeah, it just, just sucks. <laughs> just sucks. Christmas wow. is a week away and there is no winner's prize money. The one consolation is that the K1 Max challenge is ahead. For a fighter, when one fight is over, the next one is already beginning. Fighting is like a drug. The adrenaline that you feel inside the ring is something that it's very hard to give up. You see a lot of guys wanting to retire on top. But then a few years later, they get the smell and they get the itchy knuckles and it's like, ah, oh, they want to just have one more try. I've still got it. They don't think age is a barrier. Um, I don't know. when I, I keep saying this is my last year, but um, I, I'm still winning and I still feel strong. And I'm, 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 st I'm still in amongst it with the top guy. So I want to I ride it as long as I can. Tokyo, Japan, home of K1 Max Championships. The semi-finals will bring together 16 of the world's top warriors in a unique fighting extravaganza. Creating a popular culture for the fighting ring. Image is everything. and the charismatic Japanese kickboxer Masato has become the face of K1 Max for its fans. Masato won the 2003 K1 Max Championship. He is now a highly celebrated fighter. His manager, Haruo, is the driving force behind creating the heroic image of the lone wolf for Masato, establishing their symbol of success, the Silver Wolf Gym. My company itself is well acknowledged. Everyone knows Silver Wolf as a K1 management company. In addition to two trainers, I also have a press manager. I am the representative of all these management activities. I have a person to deal with bookings under me. Oh, I also have a manager for fighting. So you can imagine how big this company is. <coughs> we all work as one team to represent Masato. I have tried to establish a character that could be appealing to young people. You know, someone who is a superstar, so he's called Charismatic Rebellion. Just like someone who used to hang out on the streets, with no background whatsoever. I want him to be number one in the arena. Oh well, there's not much difference in a way I fight compared to others. But when I come up to the ring, I think I can really show who I am. I can be appealing in a different way from others. Ultimate success for a fighter is driven by the support teams who dedicate themselves to a fighter's vision. Masato has a unique relationship with kickboxing master Shinichi Hara. With over 35 years of experience, Master Hara is a formidable teacher of his craft. The most important thing is to point out what's good and what's not. Then tell them how to correct it. It leads to the next step. 
I train him very hard, but do it with affection and love. Without it, it does not work at all. Being a hard trainer is not good enough. If you do it with love, then he react to it. It's just like a Japanese drum. If you beat a Japanese drum or taiko in a correct way with affection, it makes a good sound. I really believe it. I really trust my trainer, who physically goes through all these things with me, says. It could be something minor, but it goes to my heart. If someone who had not much to do with me said the same thing, it is totally different. The K1 Max semi-final is three weeks away. In Australia, Wayne Pa relies on friends to help him train. Wayne juggles training with running a new gym and being a family man. But his biggest challenge is to lose weight to qualify for the 70 kilo weight restriction for each fight. Yes, I'm starving. I didn't get dinner. More salad and too fat. I'm still 77, so mm -hmm. it's no good. I only got two weeks. Yeah. Wayne, what are your concerns with your weight? At the moment, my weight's 77. I've got two weeks to go, so before next week, I'd like to be sitting around 75, 74, and then probably lose those last few Ks in, in Japan. Um, put the sweatsuit on, go for a jog. Um, you, you can usually lose about two, two and a half Ks with, with the sweatsuit on. But yeah, the easier I can do it now, the easier it'll be once I get over there. Otherwise, you just become a skeleton and you just struggle so much. We're so busy with the new gym, I can't even cook anymore. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Today's my only day to clean the house and do stuff and then edit go to the gym and do it there. So it's just crazy. Yeah. Careful, Desi. Are you training a part in yourself? Yeah, um, I'm training. I'll, I'll probably fight in two months. Um, I'm, uh, undercard of Wayne? Uh, with Angie fighting, the, one of the rules is um, that I, my, my training comes first. Um, she has to take care of Jazzy, and because um, otherwise it's too much on me. I can't. I'm, I'm got to. My fight. Pri we live off my prize money, so I got to do everything, everything in my power to win my fights. She fights. She fights. Go away. Um, Go away. Before be when. We didn't have What's Jasmine, wrong? we could train at the same time and we were on the same schedule. Now it's it's so hard, but I, I really want to have a couple more fights this year, and so I'm going to really focus and try to train as much as I can when when Wayne's not training. If she complains, the fight's off. I'm not going to complain to you. Mm -hmm. How much do you want? Wayne's contract with K1 this year will earn him 10 times Angie's fight fees. He can now fight less in the ring, but this means he must train harder to keep his fitness level up. She says I had two months off. It's starting to get back to it, sort of, a little bit hard. But um, I'm where I want to be at the moment. I still, I'm two weeks out, so if I just keep going the way I'm going, I, I should be right by where it comes for me. Wayne's always thinking about his opponent during training. This is how he builds strategies for a fight. K1 Max has selected Shane Chopper Chapman from New Zealand to fight Wayne at the semi-final fight on May 4. Greg, how are you going to make like? Ray Matsumura is Wayne's like Japanese then promoter. A bit, bit more like your, your combo scenes, yeah? Ray is confident that Wayne has finally hit his peak and success is on the horizon. Wayne's really hungry. I think Wayne's gonna win, but I'm pressure him to wanna win by the knockout. Mm. I, don't have, I don't have time to think about anything else. 
Oh, okay, he's. What you're doing is concentrate on, on how you're gonna defend, how you're gonna attack, how you're gonna counter, and then you don't have time. It's you gotta live for that that second. Otherwise, if you make a mistake, boom, you sure know about it. That's for sure. K1 Max has contracted 16 of the best international fighters to compete for this year's championship. Dutch fighter Albert Kraus was the first champion in 2002. Masato claimed that victory the following year. Thai fighter Boakao is the present K1 World Max champion. Only eight of these fighters will qualify for the championship fight in July. Fighting is unpredictable and you never know who will be the next champion. There's only been three K1 Maxes and you can mention those names anywhere in the world in the Muay Thai industry and every single person knows who they are. So I'd, I'd really like to go down before I retire as one of the greats. Twenty-four hours before the official weigh-in, Wayne Parr is still struggling with his weight. He hasn't eaten since arriving in Japan. Wayne takes to the footpaths of Tokyo to shed those last couple of kilos. Um, this is Shane Chopper Chapman. Chopper goes through the same problem as I do every fight, has to lose a little bit everyone. Yeah, seven, 70 is just, just out, of, uh, out of my jurisdiction really. Yeah, 70 kilos where the money is, so we've got to push ourselves. Wayne Parr and Shane Chapman will face each other in the ring in 48 hours. Oh, hard job. Good job, but a hard job. <laughs> These scales are 0.8 wrong, so I'm exactly 70. So now it's just done um, playing the game and just Waiting, the waiting game, the hardest part. The fighters are lethargic and dehydrated from losing weight. If they do not weigh in at 70 kilos, they will be disqualified. Even a couple of extra grams overweight at this stage could mean hours in the sauna before they can weigh in for a second time. Wayne is successful. The waiting game is over. This is the favourite part of the trip. The weigh-in's finally over. My first meal in uh, 48 hours. <sighs> there is nothing left to do now but fight. Fight night, Ariaki Colosseum. 14,000 fans gather for the spectacle. An hour after the closing ceremony, the event will be televised by local television in Japan. K1 rivals baseball and soccer as Japan's number one sports broadcast. For the semi-finals, each fighter will fight one opponent to qualify for the championship. K1 Max rules set the fights at three three-minute rounds with a referee. The fights are like a sprint from bell to bell, making it one of the fastest fighting styles in the ring. Three judges award points and can call for extra rounds if scoring delivers a draw. But a knockout is a decisive win. The majority of the nerves are in the change room. The fear that runs through your body and the, everything that goes through your mind beforehand is, am I going to get hurt tonight? Am I going to forget my techniques? Is this guy going to be better than me? Boakao is feeling invincible. Being the current K1 Max world champion places him in the strongest position of power and strength in the ring. Right now, K1 is top of all martial arts.
Everyone is trying to be K1 fighters. To be number one in the K1 arena, that's all fighters dream. Once my opponent is set, I just look at him as an opponent. I do not feel any emotion for him. It's not that I disrespect him. I have no fear. My mind is clear. This is when I feel the strongest. I just try and stay as calm as I can. Try and get that firework up in the belly, but at the same time trying to keep the face. So in the outside everything looks calm and relaxed, but inside everything's burning. But you're in there to knock the person out, and um, you want to do whatever it takes to, to put that person down. So yeah, it's all bad intentions, unfortunately. When I'm in the ring and looking at the enemy, my mind is very cruel, and I have no mercy. Because if I do not hurt him, he will hurt me. If you can hit someone and if you hurt him and knock him unconscious, that's your whole game plan. So you're trying to inflict as much pain as possible so that they can't continue. Masato and Wakao claim their personal victory by judges' decision. Wayne Pa wins with an impressive knockout. All three go through to the championship fight in July. By winning the fight, a fighter gains control. By that he becomes stronger, both physically and mentally, as is the way so-called Bushiro, Samurai spirit. He can recognize how he has been changed as he keeps training and fighting. It's not over yet, this is only the qualifying stage. Um, I beat Chopper, now the next stage is July, so now I've got to train even twice as hard because I don't want to fight like that again, I've got to fight harder and stronger. I've got three opponents in July that I have to go through. This is one opponent, so it's very important that I get in there and do the business because I want to win K1, I want to be the, I want to be the best in the world. The K1 Max semi-final fight is over. Eight warriors have been chosen. The championship finals in July is an elimination tournament. If a fighter continues to win, he will eventually fight three opponents on the one night. This is a true battle where Western boxing and Eastern martial arts will define themselves. The last man standing, the winner. Ahead lies two months of grueling training and planning. Thailand is the birthplace of Muay Thai. It is considered one of the most powerful and dangerous forms of fighting in the world. For 10 years, the current K1 World Max Champion, Buakao, has trained at the Poor Pramuk Gym, two hours east of Bangkok. This is a traditional Muay Thai training camp. Buakao has been back in training for the last month.
When I'm fighting in the ring and being hit, I can take it because it's normal for a fighter to be hurt. My focus is keeping my body fit and strong because I have to win three fights in one night. Buakau trains eight hours a day, six days a week. There are few distractions for this 22-year-old man. Pramuk Roch Anatan is Buakau's promoter. He has had great success with Buakau, whose power and strength has earned him a reputation among K1 fighters. Last year, he shocked fans and fighters alike by taking the title from Masato. Masato has got a, a very rude awakening last year when he ran into Borkow, and Borkow absolutely embarrassed him in front of the entire country, um, bashing him for four rounds, giving him a face reconstruction and breaking his rib and um, urinating um, blood. So that was a reality check for him. Buakau, like the other K1 fighters, is starting to think about the demands of the challenge ahead. K1 rules differ from Muay Thai, banning the use of elbows, which are considered a deadly weapon. It affects me because I cannot use my favourite weapons. Sometimes I forget, so I have to remind myself not to use these weapons in the ring. For me, all the opponents are a threat because if I'm careless, I could lose. The personal cost of being a fighter is not just about training. Injuries are common after every fight. And for Masato, the intrusion of the media is a constant distraction. In Japan, Masato's manager Haruo has been busy turning down media requests. Haruo's job is to protect Masato's private life and shape his image as a hero. It's not that he's shy. He's too famous to have privacy. He was happy to be famous before. Now he cannot even go to the convenience store to buy stuff. If he wins, there are movie, commercial, drama and many magazine exposures already waiting for him. There is a stack of magazine and video footages from here up to the ceiling. The volume will be changes if he becomes a champion. K1 ticket. In Tokyo, tickets for the K1 World Max Championship go on sale. 225 US dollars secures a ringside seat. There are even Masato booster seats for the fans. Within days, 17,000 tickets are sold out. Back in Australia, Wayne Parr's training has been interrupted by his wife. Angie is fighting in their hometown of Surfers Paradise. Sex is the farthest thing from your mind when you're training for a fight. You're just thinking about your fight. You're not. You don't want to. You don't want to hug tired. or kiss you're or tired. tired. Yeah, sore. You're you're run down, and the last thing you want someone touching you and getting close is <laughs> like. Urgh. All I want to do is punch you in the face. The last, <laughs> thing, the last thing I want is a hug. <laughs> is that also because you're sort of you're in some ways building up your aggression and adrenaline level towards the fight? I guess I don't know. Just. Uh, I think she just annoys me. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's just someone to hit. I don't even want to look at you now. This won't be really helpful for you during this time so you can focus. Wayne sees himself way more important because of money factor. He thinks he's more important because he's bringing food to the table for our family. I agree with him on that part, but 
Before I married me, I was I was a fighter. This is what I what was my passion and my this is how I was going to make a living for myself. And because of him and because of making jazzy, now it's like I just have to leave my hopes and dreams behind and and so um that that part I think is a little bit one-sided, but I'm fighting Angela Parr and I'm not going to knock her out of the ring out cold. We're going to ruin our future. We're spending all our money for these guys. And so this is redemption. you got to hit her as hard as you can. Those gloves are going to do the damage. All you got to do is land. Tonight will be Angie's 31st fight. We care. You won. Um, you've just seen another robbery at the same place that I got robbed at in December. So, absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Yep. Two judges gave it to Angie. One judge called it a draw somehow, and then I disputed it. And then Stefan Fox reckons there's five judges apparently, which is a total crock of crap. And um, he's up there reffing now, and he reckons we're going to talk about it after the fight. Wayne's dispute with the judges pays off. The next day, Angie is awarded the winner's prize money. Wayne's training takes a new twist. Sakmong Kong, the Thai fighter Wayne lost to last December, offers to train him in Thailand. I haven't trained with Sakmong Kong before, but I've been in Thailand, I know how hard it is, and I know this preparation is exactly what I need to get me through to the final. The K1 Max Championship fight card has been posted. Wayne's first opponent is Albert Kraus from Holland. Albert was the 2002 champion. If Wayne wins his first fight, he still needs to battle through two more fights before he can claim the title. The process of this tournament means Wayne needs a strategy for every fighter as he never knows who will be his next opponent. It's hard to guarantee anything with a with an eight-man tournament. So if, if all goes to plan, uh, I'd like to meet Masato in the final and, and, and beat him. If I can knock him out, it, that'll be the ultimate uh, scenario. A win over him will bring instant superstardom across the world. So uh, I, I really want to make my mark. And if I can beat him, I know that I've got a, a long future in Japan with many fights. In another province in Thailand, Wakao is also working on his fight strategies. His first fight is with Mongolian Jadaba Naratungla. But he anticipates a potential threat if he gets to fight Wayne Pa during the elimination tournament. We have to blink carefully because he has been fighting Thai boxing for a long time and he was Thai boxing champion in Thailand before. He's a good fighter. It will probably be a very close match. You're looking in top shape, Brian. No, like shit. Usually you go sick with about six weeks before a fight and then you go hard for about eight or nine, so I'm just bugging. This is 
what I'm gonna do. The championship tournament is just weeks away. In Japan, Masato is under pressure to stay focused. Tensions are high at Master Ihara's gym. Jongen. Wakao. Although Wayne Pa and Bukao are very good fighters, Masato is at least 10 times more popular than the other two. I am not being cocky, but you must agree that he is always in the spotlight, especially for the K1 Max tournament. There are eight fighters, and all of them want to fight against Masato and win. That's the pressure Masato is feeling for this tournament. Masato's first fight will be with Mike Zambidis from Greece. You must understand the mentality of the fighters, how nervous one can be before the fight. Masato is in a battle against himself. Hey, stop, okay, hey, stop, okay, stop, we are starting new and important training, please stop filming. Master Ihara and Masato are concerned that their secret fight strategies will be leaked to the other fighters. Masato continues his last days of training away from the cameras. In Thailand, at Bua Kao's camp, there are no tense moments. Just continued displays of strength from the current K1 Max champion. I feel tense every day, and sometimes I feel tired and discouraged. But I do understand that boxers get tired and discouraged sometimes. Oh. In my opinion, whoever trains the hardest, we win. Wayne's last day of training has finally arrived. I'm feeling really fit. I'm feeling strong. Yeah, every day has been a struggle. Not only, not only mentally, but physically, physically because it's, it's such a hard session every morning and every afternoon. When Wayne's away, I'm the most nervous person in the world. I have to run the gym. I have to take care of Jazzy. I'm thinking about him having to make weight. I know what he's going through when he has to make weight because I've been with him and I've done it myself. So um, I know for a couple of days he's he's suffering, and then he'll he'll ring me and he'll let me know like that he got to eat and stuff. So um, it's it's pretty crazy. Actually, I'm gonna cry right now. I'm just thinking about <laughs> I'm just thinking about like him going away and how much work he puts into it. Six weeks. Six weeks of holding pads and we're finally done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So happy. Now, even the hard part's over. Now, tomorrow we start losing weight. And then um, leave for Japan on Sunday. And then, um, and then we get the, get the flight finally. Finally get the punching body. 72 hours before the fight, all there is in Wayne's mind is the distance between him 
and the title. If all goes as he predicts, Wayne hopes to defeat Wakao after beating Albert Kraus, then meet Masato in the final fight. Got my suit. Oh, press conference. Got to get all metrosexual out to try and keep up with Masato and Kraus. Don't want to be left behind with the crowd. Got to try and look the part. This is like the perfect dream card. There's only been three K one Max champion. So if I can fight all three on one night and beat all three, um, that puts me on, on, the, on the best of the best. It makes me elite. So um, I'm hoping it does kind of turn out in that way. And then I can prove to the world that um, I am a, a class of my own. 24 hours before the K1 Max Championship, the eight fighters parade before the media in Tokyo. Months of relentless training and planning are behind them. Every fighter believes he will be the winner. Nothing worries me. I want to be the champion. It's going to be a great show tomorrow. And I'll do my very best to win. Uh, my prediction, uh, after I beat Albert, um, I'm going to fight Bork out second. And then um, I'm looking forward to beating Masada in the final. And then hopefully come in 2005, okay, I'm a champion. Thanks. Yesterday at the uh, media conference, you were quite bold in your statements. I just told him what I thought was going to happen after I beat Kraus. I, I just let Borkow know that I'll probably fight him second and, and I'm going to beat him this time. And then just let the Masada know as well that if he does make the final, that I'll be there waiting for him. I'm ready to win. I will never think about coming this close. And uh, of course, if he wins, Australia kickboxing, k one's going to get big. When's he going to get big? I'm going to get big. <laughs> Everybody's going to get big. Because it's a tournament, anything can happen. With, when it's a single fight, you can focus on, on what you're going to do and um, how you're going to fight the style. But when there's eight different fighters in, in one, one tournament, you have to be prepared to be damaged. Wayne's defining moment awaits him at the arena. Three hours before the K1 Max Championship Finals, excited spectators gather at Yokohama Arena. The sports writers pick Masato, Boakao and Wayne Pa as the three favourites. The eight chosen warriors are preparing their weapons for the elimination battle ahead. A lot of adrenaline is pumping in the back room. Um, a whole lot of emotions running through then. Just trying to get yourself psyched, knowing that this is a big job and this is what you're here for. Trying to focus on seven different opponents is very energy sapping. It's like a roller coaster. As soon as you walk into the venue for the day of the fight, it's showtime. You don't know where this roller coaster is going to take you. Masato's first challenge begins. All eyes are on the ring. When you get hit with a solid blow, you can't afford to get angry. In this sport, as soon as you get angry, you make mistakes. So, you just got to wait for the opportunity to come for them to make the mistakes, and then you've got to take advantage of them. You're there to fight. It's only for nine minutes. So you just got to give it everything you have and you can worry about the pain later. Quite an exciting fight. Zambidi's, Zambidi's fought well. He threw more kicks than he usually does. Masato's being helped out of the ring right now, you can see. Took a lot of low kicks, which Zambidi's isn't known for. So that's a bad sign. Masato makes it through, but as the battle continues, injuries are escalating. It's almost like a sprint. Bang! You had the win, you're on top of the world, and all of a sudden you have to realize that you've got another two more fights to go yet. So you've got to get the focus back. You just want to go in there and, and, and win. Wakao takes on his first enemy. If you can dig deep and bite down on that mouth guard and keep looking for that shot, if you can land that shot, doesn't matter how much you hurt, 
Winning is everything. You're only walking in that runway for 30 seconds to a minute. You've trained for the last six weeks, you've poured your heart and your soul out in the gym. This is the moment you live for. Wayne needs victory over Albert Krauss to continue in the tournament. At the uh, press conference yesterday, Parr said he's going to get past Kraus with his kicks, then he's going to beat Boacau, then he's going to take Masato on and win in the final. Whenever a fighter has got the whole day mapped out, it means he hasn't put enough focus on the first fight. How are you feeling, Wayne? Am I allowed to sway? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought if I didn't get it, it was going to be a draw for sure next round. Cause um, but, but this is K1. Sometimes they score a little bit different to um, a conventional Muay Thai and kickboxing. So just got to go with the flow and hopefully I get invited back next year and, and um, hopefully we can do a good job. Wayne must accept his defeat as another fighter enters the ring. As the night progresses, more fighters are forced out of the challenge. Masato's leg injury forces him to withdraw. Albert Krauss's victory over Wayne Parr places him in the ring with Boakau. The K1 World Max, the eight-man tournament, is worth 100,000 US worldwide recognition, which is which is uh, priceless. Boakau has made it through to the third and final fight. Victory will be his if he can defeat Dutch fighter Andy Saar. Boakau plans to take the championship belt home to Thailand for a second year. This is the true battle. The last man standing will be the winner. Whoever loses will think they got robbed. And... Unpredicted win for Dutch fighter Andy Saar. His victory is only a one point margin. You're only as good as your last fight. You're always looking for that next fight, and no one wants to go out a loser, so you want to redeem yourself if you had a loss. And you just got to keep going. So it's, it's hard to say when enough's enough. Heads up. Heads up. Heads up. Hey, punch. Hey, punch, punch, punch. Okay, kick, kick. Oh, hey, kick, kick. Hey, that's a punch, kick.